What's up guys, I'm Jed Abendroth and this is Big Man Fitness. All right, don't forget to reach on down here, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and give this video a big thumbs up. Always helps with the channel. And speaking of helping with the channel, don't forget to share this on Facebook, Twitter, through email. Share it to your friends, your family, people that may find it informative or at least entertaining. Help my channel out if you don't mind and help me bring more and more videos to you. What if I told you we know how bad highly processed foods are, but it might actually be worse than we thought? This week, you guys know, I am completely for always trying to go for that not processed food, cooking at home, doing your own meal preps, really taking care of yourself that way. Well, this week I'm talking to you about a study that has recently come out where they're now linking, so we know highly processed food, which is things like hot dogs, chips, uh, McDonald's, fast food, any, really almost any kind of food you get out. Because there's really four tiers. There's like the not processed or low processed foods, uh, which are your meats, your whole vegetables, whole fruits, nuts, grains <clears throat> that are unaltered. Your next step up is the light to moderate uh, processed foods and that would be things like oils, butters, seasonings, uh, herbs and spices that we tend to add to the basically not processed or very lightly processed foods. The next step up is what they call just processed foods and those are your cheeses, your uh, fish like canned fish, tuna, uh, anchovies, things like that, uh, you know cottage cheese, a little bit more processed than just straight up butter. Uh, you know, margarine would definitely be a processed food. Those kind of deals. Your highly processed foods. Again, hot dogs, chicken nuggets, uh, the ham, uh, well, I wouldn't say hamburgers. Uh, really, anything you really buy out, especially when it comes from a fast food place. Uh, you know, just stuff like that. So we know it's linked to diabetes. We know it's linked to things like uh, obesity and it, it does different things in our guts. They're now linking it to many, not just one, many, many types of digestive cancers and diseases. So these high processed foods are basically causing us to, well, it helps us form cancer in our, of our bowels, our digestive system just beyond the stomach so the two are being linked together basically so not only is it for type 2 diabetes and obesity and everything else has been linked to the high processed foods we now have to worry about well are those chips worth it are the hot dogs worth it are the chicken nuggets worth it chicken nuggets rule in my household especially with the kids something now that we got to think about of well do we feed them chicken nuggets or do we try to give them something a little better peanut butter and jelly they love well that's also high processed foods uh, you know the type of foods that kids love at that younger age is unfortunately high processed foods and we got to try to keep that out of their system but that's for us to, to figure out and work on but the fact that the studies are really coming through and you know so far they've they've done a couple studies with uh, human participants no actual cancer but they're seeing the side effects and what it does to some of the I guess micro things that live in your gut you know that help digest food <clears throat> but they mainly have been studying on mice and they're finding in the mice that they're they're getting these tumors in their you know intestines and they are just really well besides just getting fat and getting diabetes that they're getting really sick and dying 
which obviously we always knew high processed foods are not good, but to what extent? So <clears throat> again, I'm trying to bring this forward because this this is all fairly new. In the last couple of weeks, the I guess the, the journal or the information is being released kind of to the public if you know where to look. That well, yeah, high processed foods are so bad that it's literally killing you. Not just with the obesity and the diabetes, if you're lucky enough not to have to be part of either of that, it literally is trying to kill you. That bag of chips, I'm a big Utz fan, it, it's literally trying to kill you. Is it worth eating that bag of chips for cancer 5, 10, 20 years down the road? That's the type of stuff that we got to start thinking about, especially when it comes to food. We want those whole fruits and those whole grains, nuts, the vegetables. I'm a huge fan of broccoli, thank God. I love just steamed broccoli, nothing on it, no butter, no cheese. I can just eat it straight up steamed because, yeah, reading some of this stuff is actually very scary. And, of course, I'm a big cheese fan, but that's here and there. I don't eat it all the time. I'm lactose intolerant, so I can't eat it all the time. But I know some people that literally just take blocks of cheese. You know who I'm talking about. And slice it up I help them work on it a little bit but they do this oh, fair often enough don't get me wrong I love cheese I love the taste of cheese but again I can't do it all the time it messes with me because I'm lactose intolerant <clears throat> milk is unfortunately in the US it is somewhat processed other countries not so much but here in the US they do process it uh, some say for the better some say for the worse so it actually goes into the lightly processed category instead of the unprocessed or lightly processed category. It goes more into the, I guess, the lightly to moderate uh, processed category because while it is kind of processed. So milk, thank God I don't drink it. That could be also trying to kill you. Uh, anchovies, not a big fan, but I can't tell you too many people that aren't, that don't or are against tuna. I love tuna. About once a month, that's my dinners for a week. Now, now you should start rethinking that. And it's not just the mercury that's in it. It's literally now a moderately, uh, or yeah, it is a processed food. And that's because of the salts. Uh, some of them are done in oil instead of water. I always go for the water, but some people like it in oil, I guess. So that's even more processed than what's in water. So just some food for thought, things to think about. Pay attention to what you're buying, what you're putting in your grocery basket, and try to stay away from those high processed foods, or if you do get them, keep it in very low moderation. Stick with the, the whole, fruit, whole fruits, vegetables, meats. Try to lightly season them. Don't go overly heavy with the seasoning, if you are gonna season at all. And, well, hopefully we'll all get to live a little bit longer and a little bit healthier lives. All right, guys, so that's what I got for you this week. Don't forget to reach on down here. Hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell for notifications and give this video a big thumbs up. Always helps with the channel. And, if you could, find me on Facebook, Jedediah Raymond Abendroth. From there, I can lead you to the group or page that I've made for this channel. And we can continue any conversations that you would like to, well, continue. You can also find me, Twitter, Instagram, at JedFDK. I'm getting a little better at posting, but please push me, nudge me. Tell me what you want to see and what you want to know. We can all share great information with each other. And if for any reason you don't feel comfortable reaching out to me on any of these platforms, then please send me an email. BMFJED at gmail.com. Uh, I'm more than happy to get your emails, more than happy to engage with you. So please send me those emails. And I usually respond within an hour or two, but if it's a little more thought, you know, more thought process going into it, well, then obviously I would take a little bit longer, but no more than 24 hours to respond back to you. All right, guys. Well, that's what I had for you this week. I hope you had a great week. I hope you have a great week coming up. And as always, Stay fit, stay healthy, and I'll see you next week.